Chromebooks, an incredible budget saving option, or two bare bones to run a business? As someone who's done everything from freelancing to running a complex e-commerce store to creating content online, I'm always looking for ways to save money and improve my workflow. So I bought a cheap $200 Chromebook to see what the fuss was all about and figure how I can use it within my business. Then after it actually surprised me with how well it did, I tried running the entire business off the Chromebook alone. In this video, I'll be going over the pros and cons of running a business with a Chromebook, where it excels and where it falls short. Let's start with the first pro. The first is that there's very little business software that the Chromebook cannot run. If you think about it, this makes sense. Most business software these days runs entirely online. And even a lot of traditionally desktop software like Excel or PowerPoint has online equivalents. Online software relies on having an internet connection, which may be a downside, but the benefit is that it's not really dependent on your computer's performance at all. Although Chromebooks offer a lot of value for the money, the reality is that the cheaper models are not very powerful, you know, hardware-wise. Chrome OS, the operating system that Chromebooks run, is pretty lightweight compared to Windows, so the difference may not be as big as you might expect, but a lot of the cheaper models simply wouldn't be able to run a lot of software as smoothly as they could if they were online. Anyway, think about the software you need to run a business. Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel are all online, or you can use Google's free equivalents. For order management, software like ShipStation runs online too. For invoicing, software like FreshBooks or QuickBooks both are online. For media editing, most Adobe products have apps that work for Chromebook. Actually, that's another thing. Chromebooks run all online software, but they also run Android apps and Linux software as well. So there are very few limitations. There are some, and I'll cover those later, but I'd wager 95% of your software, or even all of it depending on the business you run, can run fine on the Chromebook. Pro number two. These things start and stop quickly. This one really surprised me, and to this day, it might be my favorite benefit over using a Windows laptop. Chrome OS, again, the operating system that Chromebooks run, can almost be thought of like a mobile phone's operating system. This means that you open the Chromebook and it's just instantly ready to use. No lag, no long loading screens. It's just open and ready to go. And this is true even for the cheap models. I've never had a Windows laptop run like this, and it makes it a joy to use away from home. I used to leave my laptops open so they'd stay running, but this one you can just close and open without really having to wait forever until it becomes usable again. This is a huge time saver and a huge just quality of life benefit I've really come to appreciate. This brings me to my next point, which is portability. Most Chromebooks are light and have excellent battery life. Again, Windows being a very bloated OS, it uses a lot more battery very quickly. And the lightweight nature of Chrome OS means that the battery can last longer without needing a charge. As a side note, most Chromebooks charge via USB-C, meaning that if you use any other device that uses the same cord, like an iPad Pro or a lot of Android phones, you don't have to bring an extra charger with you. Pro number four is security. This is a big one, and it's something that we, we don't really tend to think about until it's too late. Like Macs or Linux computers, there isn't a lot of malware out there targeting Chrome OS. This makes it very secure, and it's hard to get any sort of infection that can cause your computer damage or steal your data. Additionally, Chromebooks are encrypted by default, so even if somebody were to physically steal your computer, it still wouldn't be possible for them to access any data, assuming of course that you've locked it with a password. And finally, and this is something I worried about myself, Chromebooks still work with most accessories and peripherals. You can still plug in an external mouse and keyboard, add a USB hub with an SD card slot, plug in external drives, game controllers, and just about any other standard accessory you'd use on Windows. Not all of them work perfectly, for example, if they're bundled with extra software that's Windows only, but these tend to work surprisingly well. If you do have something unique that you tend to plug into your computer, check with the manufacturer to ensure it's compatible. So, as you can see, I have a lot of nice things to say about Chromebooks and Chrome OS. But what are the downsides? Sadly, there are a few of them as well. The first are the low specs, with the two that are most noticeable immediately being the screen and the limited storage. With the lower end Chromebooks, you don't even get a full HD screen, and the built-in storage is pitiful. If you're using online software that doesn't need to be loaded onto your laptop, then this isn't as big of a deal as it might sound. However, you'll be relying a lot on an external drive or a cloud storage service like Dropbox or Google Drive to host your files. For my use cases, I'm pretty fine with this, as I mostly work at home anyway, where I do have a full desktop setup. However, this may be a big deal for some people. Consider purchasing a cheap external drive if you need more storage. There are some great budget options available. Con number two is that not all software works perfectly or sometimes the online equivalents aren't quite as powerful as the, you know, the offline versions you might be used to. For example, the online version of Photoshop that works for Chromebooks isn't as powerful as the full version, and some features are missing. 
and as someone who uses Notion more than almost any other software, having to visit the website is a bit frustrating. This isn't Google's fault, you know, because Notion simply haven't released a Chromebook app at the moment, but it is kind of annoying. Finally, if you're using very niche business software, it's unlikely to support anything but Windows. For example, I have some commercial machines for printing on clothing, and there's simply no way to run this software on a Chromebook. So be sure you know exactly what you'll need to run before you make your purchase. This brings me to a big point, especially for creators who produce content like I do. Video editing on Chromebook isn't great. In fact, I know for me, this is kind of the one big thing that prevents me from being able to run my entire business on it. Although more powerful models are available, the cheaper Chromebooks simply aren't powerful enough to edit 4K video. 1080p might be fine if you don't use any motion graphics or need anything too powerful, but I wouldn't even try editing 4K on it. I should note that webcast or screen recording is completely fine. It's specifically editing that's the problem. So if you're an online educator or you want to run webinars or live events or use Zoom, the Chromebook will probably be okay. Finally, the last con, it's made by Google. This means you probably aren't going to have the best time when it comes to data and privacy. Maybe this doesn't matter to you, but remember that Google is an advertising company first and foremost, and their business is collecting data. So you know, take that for what you will. So overall, what do I think? I was actually really surprised by how much I can do on just the Chromebook alone, and the lightweight OS makes it very convenient for most tasks. If the software you want to run is available to use on a Chromebook, it will serve you just fine. The only thing I personally struggled with was video editing, as any software with very strong hardware requirements won't be able to run. If you're a freelancer, a blogger, you offer professional services, you're in retail, um, you do e-commerce like Amazon or Etsy, a Chromebook will be perfect for you. And even if you already have a laptop, a Chromebook makes a great portable alternative to take with you, which is what I still use it for to this day. One more thing. If you happen to be a content creator or you use online content to help you grow your business, consider signing up for my free workshop at jamesmcallisteronline.com forward slash workshop. There, I'll share the exact content strategy I recommend to grow your earnings almost passively without having to spit out new content on a daily basis. This will allow you to focus more on the other areas of your business that matter or just take that time and enjoy life a little bit. Hope to see you there. And if you have any other questions about Chromebooks, ask them below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have an amazing day.